If you are able to make it to that, how crazy would that be? Um, it would be beyond crazy. Like hitting in a home run derby, especially in, during the All Star Week, and with like probably thousands of people there watching. Probably nerves will be insane, but I mean, hopefully, I'll make it. So. Yeah, like, let's talk about what you're like. Last time we talked to you, I know you were you were starting to to do some of the international competitions. Talk about what teams you've been on, what you've learned while you've been out there. What have been maybe your favorite moments? Um, so favorite moments, definitely winning gold for Team USA. That was by far the like, coolest experience I've had, baseball-wise at least. And just like, I would say it's the experience, like meeting all these like other countries, like Japan, we met them, Chinese Taipei, um, Australia, South Africa. And just seeing how like different, like you don't realize how like different countries are until they come in. And like like we talk to Japan and like they do things completely different than here. Yeah, so you might not be on ESPN or on TV when they for the home run derby, or would you be? I think during this like the high school one that's not during the actual home run derby. I think it's gonna be on MLB Network, maybe. Okay, cool. That or ESPN. Okay. We don't know which one yet. And but that'll be on Saturday, right? I believe so. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so what are you most looking forward to while you're over there? Um, just meeting all the MLB players. Like one of my favorite players is Bobby Witt Jr. And he's going to be in the home run derby. And that would be a surreal thing to be in the actual home run derby if I made the top two. And like I'm assuming they would be on the field with us. So just like being right next to him would be a crazy moment. So. So cool. Aren't you, your mom said something to me about uh, you're going to Kaufman for, did you already do that yet? The scouting mm, it's thing? at the end of the month. Cool. What's that going to be like? Um, so the first day is on July 29th. It's a pro style showcase at the MLB Youth Academy in downtown Kansas City. It's just like a pro workout. You hit, field, run. And then the next day, July 30th, we, get, we play two eight inning games in Kaufman and I believe it's just for scouts to see us better, see us perform, see what we can do, so yeah. And so since we last talked, you've committed to Oklahoma State. Um, what has your life been like since you've done that? I mean, you're in contact, constant contact with them, or how does that all work? Um, not much has really changed besides just I've grown a relationship with all the coaches. Um, still do the same thing I would have done if I didn't, didn't commit, but I would say I just gained a, I've gained a really good relationship with them, fellow uh, Oklahoma State commits. I've become best friends with one of them, so just relationship-wise, it's been great. Awesome. I uh, let's see. Okay, so for these, for, for the home run derby, how do you prepare for something like that? Um, I'm not really sure. This is my first home run derby I've done in a while. Like I did them when I was younger, like 11 or 12, but they were little fields, not like nothing crazy. But this one's. MLB is hosting it, so it's a little bit of a different experience, but um, I've been hitting every day, just making sure my swing feels right, getting, I'm practicing a little more than I would, swinging up on the ball, trying to get them out, so it's a little different. I'm preparing a little different than I would just like if I was going to a tournament, but pretty much the same thing. What is the strategy for this sort of thing? <sighs> um, I would say just controlling my swing, like not trying to kill every ball because you're going to get tired eventually if you keep going. So just like controlling my tempo of my swing, just making sure I swing out good pitches to hit because if I don't, it's just a waste of time. So, yeah. Cause they have new, I know the majors has new rules this year. Are they giving you, have you guys do it the same way? Um, they haven't told us, but I'm assuming it's just off time. It's probably like, I think the MLB is like three minutes or something like that in the first round. So I think it will just go off of how they do it. So, Who throws to you? We do not know. Uh, we have no idea. So you don't get to pick. It's no, it's either, okay. it's either somebody throws to us or like a pitching machine. So okay. we'll see when we get there. So, um, oh, and is, is it going to be the same fences for you guys? Or? Yes, sir. But we get to use like juiced up metal bats that were like <laughs> made in like the 90s back then. So it gives us a better chance to hit them out. So. Nice, nice. Okay, that's good. The same Sosa type bats. Yeah. <laughs> that video is crazy. Well, I got you two here. I know, obviously, you guys came so close with Glendale this past year. I mean, what's your goals for your senior year here? I mean, hopefully take us back to where we were and even further. We lost a good amount of seniors last year, so 
me and other seniors are going to have to step up and fill their role and just be the guys that we had last year and coming into this year. So it's definitely something I'm going to have to learn. I'm not much of a talker. I, like, I just like to play and just listen to what other guys have to say. So I'm definitely going to have to learn how to speak up more, be a role model. But so, yeah. What are some of the things that, you know, are different from international play and high school ball? I would say different. What's different is that with international, you don't know anybody. You don't, there's not much stress. Like you just go out there and play. But with high school, all eyes are on you. Like you know everybody. So like I think, I think this high school ball, there's like, there's more stress to it. It's more fun, but there's also more stress when it comes to it because you're playing people you know, you're playing other schools, you're playing big rivals almost constantly. So it's just the competition. Competition is about the same, but just the energy is completely different from international to high school ball. And you know, obviously the draft is this week, and I just talked to Zach Stewart, and you know, he's he's gearing up for that. I yeah. know you're excited for whenever that happens for you. I I always get the rules messed up. Is it next year that you could theoretically be drafted out yeah. of high school? Yes. So okay. this time next year. Okay. Is that something you're expecting? Like, what have you heard? Um. I haven't really heard too much yet, and I really, I'm not focused on it. I'm, I'm just focused on school ball, focused on going to OSU, and if I get a chance to go, I get a chance to go, but if not, I don't really care. Oh my God, that's so interesting. <laughs> like for, I just have no idea what to ask you about that, like what that would be like. Yeah, I don't really know either, but. <laughs>